Hello everyone and welcome to the 2019 Royal Oak Memorial Day Parade. My name is Andy Aubrey and my guest host for today, we'll call our guest host, is the one and only Judy Davids. Judy, how are you this year? I'm, I'm great. Great Perfect to see you day, huh? We locked out. They were talking rain. They were but, talking rain. Uh, I don't see a cloud in the sky at the moment. No, it's, yeah, I think it's 58 degrees and sunny. Can't beat that. It is wonderful. And, uh, you know, it's an important day. It's a day of off for many and we enjoy our barbecues and all that. But a uh, very important day in that we remember those who have given the ultimate sacrifice to fight for our freedom so we can enjoy the barbecues, correct? Correct, and today we especially uh, remember and honor the 188 Royal Oak heroes that gave their uh, lives uh, in, in service to our country. And there's a ceremony after the parade that we uh, specifically focus on those uh, soldiers. But for right now, uh, we're going to uh, just enjoy this beautiful day and we have a great lineup. I think there's more than 60 floats this, or 60 units this year. So. Okay. Good. Yeah. Well, we're, we're looking forward to it. In fact, it's coming down the road. So stay tuned. We'll be right back with the start of the parade. Seventy percent of pedestrian deaths happen outside of a crosswalk. Make eye contact with drivers. Distractions are deadly. Use a crosswalk. Learn more at walkbikedrivesafe.org. Here they are, and this is the only time we really want to see them. Yes. And not in the <laughs> rearview mirror, but well, here at the parade. I'll tell you, if you're happy to call Royal Oak home, you can thank the Royal Oak Police Department because we, co we consistently are named as one of the happiest and best places to live because we have a, we're also one of the safest cities to live. And the uh, police are followed by the Royal Oak Police Honor Guard. Yeah, that's true. They are the official representation of the police department's service of any police officer who has fallen, both active or retired, and the families that they've left behind. The Honor Guard also represents the department at ceremonies, parades like today, dedications, special events, and other occasions designated by the chief of police. Right behind the Honor Guard, we have the Royal Oak Fire Department, and I believe... Chief Cummins is here today. I saw him earlier. The chief oversees three fire stations and more than 50 yeah, firefighters. Yeah. And I believe on the back of the fire truck, we have the city mascot, Romy. Yep. Ah, yes. announcing the Canadian Legion. Well, either that, I, it was that, or I thought the, the fire department got new uniforms. <laughs> uh, the Canadian Legion, of course, is on 11 Mile Road, and it's, it was founded in 1935 as a nonprofit organization. And now, right behind them, we have the American Legion, and we have the American Legion uh, Riders, I believe they're called. And the, Amer the American Legion, of course, um, Guard, of course, our military veterans from all the branches. That's post 253. And we have, I believe, this is the Daughters of the American Revolution. Oh, 
I'm sorry, that's still the We're American still Legion. We're the, the post, post, yeah. And riders. And those do not look like Cub Scouts, our list says Cub Scouts, but as you know, Judy. Yes? The beginning of these parades. We're never, we're always at this point, right? So we don't know what goes on at the beginning yes. of these parades. And we really yes. admire those who set all this up. And occasionally it does get out of order. Yes. You know. But we're pretty bright people. Yes. We pick up on it, generally. Now this definitely looks like this is uh, the American Legion. Um, uh, Cub Scouts, or their Pack 1604. They were formed in 1949, and they've been sponsored by the Franklin Wendland American Legion Post since 2005. Right, and that's the Acorn Post, 1669 Auxiliary of the VFW. They've been serving the veterans here in Royal Oak for over 80 years. Okay, now, here we have the, um, the Ezra Parker chapter of the DAR. Of course, the DAR promotes patriotism, historic preservation, and education. And it looks like uh, many of the members are wearing um, colonial clothing. I wonder if they get a lot of funny looks in the grocery store where they are. Beautiful dresses. They really are. And it's, uh, now which one was that? We're looking at a beautiful Studebaker, I believe. It's a 1949. Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes, and another beautiful car. Are you a car person? Absolutely. What kind of car is that? It just went um, by. An old one. It's a Hornet. Okay, and now we really quickly, we have the uh, Michigan World War II Legacy Memorial. And there's, there's Chief O'Donohue and, and Chief Cummins walking together. There's our police chief and our fire chief together. A couple of heavy hitters <laughs> right there. They, they just, they stand alone. Yes. They stand on their own and they uh, they don't need a lot of vehicles and pomp and circumstance. They got the uniforms going. Yes. Okay. Here's our Grand Marshal. Yeah, that's John Geary. He was uh, artillery in the U.S. Army during World War II and he drove a tank pulling a 240 millimeter howitzer M1, which was nicknamed the Black Dragon. And he was, uh, back in England, he landed in 1944 as part of General Patton's Third Army on his 19th birthday on the beaches of Normandy. And I'll tell you, you know, Fox 2 is Rich Luderman. Yeah, Did he just Fox walk by? Yeah, that's Fox 2 Lake Rich Luderman. He's out of his car over there. And he's followed by some students from uh, Oak Ridge Elementary that are carrying names of some of those fallen uh, uh, soldiers that are on our Royal Oak War Memorial. Very nice. So that's new this year. And of course, here we have the Royal Oak High School Marching Band. Glad to have them. Of course, they had to get out of bed on Memorial Day morning, but they're on TV. Uh, the, the Eagles uh, 
uh, donate to multiple charities, um, and some of their favorites uh, are uh, those groups that fight cancer, Alzheimer's, spinal injuries, heart disease, and diabetes. And they're also very active in helping um, Gilda's Club. One of our favorites here in Royal Oak. Yes, and of course we have the Knights of Columbus. They're easily recognized by their uh, attire. Uh, they've been supporting the Royal Oak community since 1925. Royal Oak actually has two councils here. Uh, one is the and the other one is uh, the National Shrine of the Little Flower. I see the lion. Uh, yeah, there he is, the right there. Oh, and then we have, the, of course, the Oakland County Sheriff's Department. And, and they have looks, been with our parade forever. And yeah. of course, the uh, one and only Sheriff Michael Bouchard. Yeah. Never met a parade he didn't like. <laughs> yes. yes. He's brought out all his uh, favorite toys today, it looks like. Yeah, he's got them all out here. He's got his uh, daredevils. The uh, looks like he has frisbees too. Yeah, he's uh, not many people know. Sheriff Bouchard is an ultimate frisbee champion. It looks like. Yes, and a lot of these. Uh, you think we might spot him? And some of the vehicles we see, like that Dodge Challenger, were actually forfeited uh, from drug dealers, and they have just decided to keep those for themselves in the department. Oh, wow, we have a SWAT vehicle, and I think we have a boat. Yes, yes, this is uh, a boat looking for a body of water at the moment. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Probably fits right into the St. Clair Shores Parade, but it looks a little weird here in Royal Oak. Yeah, well, it's there's a few cool. waterways out there in the Cass Lake area. I'm sure they put that to good use out there. Yeah. All right. Oh, a boy. little break here, and it looks like our next unit is the Shrine Highlanders. The Pipe and Drum Corps. Now, yes. the Highlanders is one of many of the units of the Detroit Shriners, which supports the Shrine Hospitals for Children who have disabilities throughout the U.S. And who, many who know that the uh, hospitals for these children provide specialized care with orthopedic conditions, burns, and that sort of thing. And that's regardless of the family's ability to pay. So. I see Commissioner Perouche, Commissioner Douglas, uh, Commissioners Gibbs and Levasseur, and I also see the mayor there on crutches. He recently what had, happened to him? He recently had some surgery on his Achilles. Uh oh. So I'm surprised he's walking. I think the I think the golf cart behind him. What a is, trooper! Is in case he can't make it. That is a mayor with dedication. <laughs> yes. Now we have the Royal Oak Memorial Society. And they are celebrating 100 years. Wow, that's amazing. You know, they've been around longer than our city's been a city because our city will celebrate its 100th uh, anniversary in 2021. So I see Carol Hennessy in that car. And there she is. Yeah. Carol, Carol Hennessy has been a part of this parade. Yes. For a we, long time. She's always looking great. There she is. If you love this parade, you can thank Carol Hennessy right. for it. Oh, she was so instrumental. When I started doing this parade 25 years ago or so, she was front and center, and it's great to see her out here still. Yes. All right. Let's see what we got here. Got some V 
Vietnam veteran. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> driving the the Malibu, looking good out here. Okay, we have representatives from the Korean War, and then they have somebody here that fought in the Middle East. I gotta say a word about Dale Pi. We used to do a hockey night in Royal Oak back in the 90s uh -huh. with Larry Auger, and we had a three-man broadcast team calling those kids' games. We never had more fun, I'll tell you. Uh, now we have the Royal Oak Optimist Club. Um, of course, the Royal Oak Optimist Club are um, very involved in the city. Um, they're followed by the Boys and Girls Club. Um, the Royal Boys and Girls Club bus, I should say. Um, the Optimists are really, really important to the lives of uh, youth in Royal Oak. They do so many things, offer grants, whatnot. They're fantastic. Okay, now we have the Royal Oak Women's Club. They're headquartered on 4th Street. Um, they also do a lot, including have the most fabulous uh, spaghetti dinner. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, they actually sell the spaghetti sauce. It's Is so that right? Good. Somebody's got a good recipe. All right, and then behind them, the Royal Oak middle school band yes. and they are out here strong and proud yeah. seventh and eighth graders they're led by keith corey i see him here boy they're a big group they got a bunch of them let's, yeah. let's give them a listen organization is building better people, Judy. All the uh, different events that we went to and learning about everything from outdoor survival to helping other people, going to churches and going to hospitals. And We would go to the VA hospital, serve the vets breakfast and once a year and the canned good drive around the holidays everyone knows about and it's just an outstanding operation that the scouting people run and coming up behind is the Shrine Group 1634. Shout out to Shrine. Yeah, I was looking, I was doing some research last night, and the Girl Scouts have been around since 1912, and the Boy Scouts have been, have been around since 1907. And, uh, you know, they're all about, for Girl Scouts, it's all about empowering girls to discover fun, friendship, the power, the power of girls working together. And of course, the Boy Scouts are iconic. You know, they're. Um, there's millions of kids that participate in scouts, and as you can see, scouting is still pretty much a big deal. It is, it's, and it's a fun experience, it really is. Of course, the Cub Scouts have their popcorn drive in the fall, and the Girl Scouts, who can't get enough of their cookies? Thin mints, tag lungs, all the rest. Do you have a favorite Girl Scout cookie, Judy? Uh, I do. I think it's just the, the thin mints. Thin mints for you? Well, if 
kind of boring, but. No, no, that's a classic. It's a classic, I know. Woo! I also like those ones with coconut. What are those? Ones ah, the Samoas. The, Samoas. the purple box. Those I know them by the color of the box as well, but those are great. Fantastic turnout of uh, scouts Absolutely. This, year this, this weather held out for us, and we've got a really, really nice crowd out here. Yeah, we have a big, we have a big audience watching the parade today too. And millions at home. <laughs> yes. I admire these kids for getting out of bed and coming out here. My son had many opportunities to, do, to march in parades, and he wanted to stay in bed over the years. Yeah. Cub Scouts, Little League, you name it. But uh, everybody looks great. They're all in their uniforms. Yeah. Really, really, really cool. Very exciting. All right. Coming up after the myriad of scouts, trying to figure out we have. We are. Who have we? Uh, it looks like we have. I'm seeing elk shirts. I believe it's the... I believe we have Guardian Angels. Yep. Guardian Angels is actually in Clawson, but I think that uh, they have probably quite a few students that uh, live in Royal Oak or call Royal Oak home. This is their first time. Oh, well, we have one more scouting group coming through. Um, but uh, yeah, Guardian Angels, this is their very first year in the parade, so we welcome them. They brought a nice group along with them. Uh, Guardian Angels opened in 1948 and has been educating students in faith and academics for 70 years. That's a wonderful school. I know of Guardian Angels too, and great church. Yes, great church. And they're followed by Paul Lutheran, which also, which is located in downtown Royal Oak and also has a school, I believe they're K through eight. And we're happy to have them here, and they have a really big group of people with them. You know, St. Paul's is responsible for all the recycling at Arts, Meets, and Eats. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, so that's they got a, a big, big job. job. It's a very, very big job. And they do a great job. Footprints, uh, you know, free from trees and then recycling everything. Did you make it to Arts, Beats, and Eats last year? I did. Yes. Wasn't it great? It's always great. Always fun. All right, drums. I hear drumming. Yes. by Matthew Matlock, Jr. Next up, we have the Royal Oak Animal Shelter. Some of their shelter dogs, who seem to be pretty spoiled. I see Jody Ellison, very, very... <laughs> she looks like a sweetheart, Jody. I tell you. <laughs> uh, Jody's my Facebook friend, you know. <laughs> I don't want to brag. <laughs> well, next up we have Oakland County Prosecutor Jessica Cooper. She brought quite a big group of people with her today. <laughs> Politicians love parades, don't they? <laughs> yes, it's they a do. chance to see and be seen, but mostly be seen. Yep, and then we have our state rep. Former Mayor, Mayor Ellison, Ellison, the Tim one Ellison. and only. Love the tie. <laughs> He's got the wave down. <laughs> yeah, so Mayor Ellison is, looks like he's been practicing his wave. Yes, he's doing a good job. And Very then wonderful. we have Andy Levin, who follows in the footsteps of his dad, uh, Sandra Levin, who's a long time. Oh, uh, long, 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 as long time. time congressman. Uh, yeah, he was one of our favorites. Great interview. Yes. And uh, Andy now is taking over the 9th District yeah. in the House of Representatives. 
followed by Dave Woodward, who's also been a stalwart here in the Royal community. It looks like we have the Wahoo Baseball Club sneaking up right up behind us. And they play a game today, don't they? Now they used to be the Chargers and the Chiefs, and they're the Titans now. I know. And so I don't, I don't know, know what the happened. Background behind that, no, do we you? should find out. No, we just know that they're aged five to thirteen years old, and the cheerleaders are also a big part of their program. Now this next uh, unit, if I have this right, is we're still the... with the Titans. Oh, that's the Titans. That's quite a float. They worked oh, my on that. Goodness. YMCA, which is located uh, on 11 Mile near Woodward. I go to the YMCA. Do you? It's my favorite place in the whole world. Wonderful. It's Wonderful. really, really, it's really, really, um, uh, it's really been there great. a long time. Yes. And it's just a, they have just a really great, uh, diverse uh, community there. Young and old, and just, it's fantastic. Okay, now we have Camp Casey. Camp Casey brought, let's count them. One, two, three. Four, five, six, I think seven horses. Can you believe it? Camp Casey, of course, is a uh, charity organization that um, visits kids with uh, cancer. Yes, um, familiar with the organization. Yeah. Outstanding oh, work. Oh, look at this little horse here. Look at the little baby horses. Oh my goodness, I think they they told us seven horses. I think there's more than I seven. I think there's more. That's right. Well, do you oh, count the small ones as one or two? <laughs> Half. I don't know. But, but Camp Casey does such a great uh, job uh, bringing a lot of joy to uh, families. They're much appreciated. And we've hit a log jam. I wonder if this is like... Uh Animal House, where they just they marched the whole parade up against the wall somewhere, and everybody just kept bunching up together. I don't know, but we are uh, we're in a holding pattern slightly. Again, though, Camp Casey, outstanding operation since '04. They've impacted the lives of more than 12,000 people, and they're always looking for volunteers. By the way, you can find out more about them at camp-casey.org. And um, like you mentioned, Judy outstanding organization of uh, helping kids with cancer and yes. I think all of us have been touched by cancer in one way or another family For members sure. friends or or ourselves and it's uh, it's a scary one but Camp Casey's here to push in the blow and help the kids okay and next we have students demand action with along with moms demand action uh, for gun sense in America Lawn Doctor's been in the parade the past couple of years. Um, making those lawns green. Making those lawns green and in our parade with their flags, so we're happy to have them.
50% of bicycle and pedestrian crashes occur at intersections. Look, wait, turn. Wait for people walking and biking before you turn. Learn more at walkbikedrivesafe.org. Imagine the action and see nearly a century of Michigan aviation heritage at the Selfridge Military Air Museum. Enjoy a walk around the air park and bring your cameras for a most authentic military aviation history experience. We're open to the public April through October on weekends, Memorial Day and Independence Day from 12 noon to 4.30 p.m. Group tours for adults and kids of all ages can be arranged, so call us today at 586-239-6768 or 586-239-5035. Uh, I don't see Elvis. No, Elvis has left the building already before he even arrived. Yeah, yeah and Elvis, we were supposed to have a Elvis, uh, Elvis himself is here, and this... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know who this is, this is, this is a... Uh... This is just a Royal Oak family that put together this float. And I, I apologize, I don't know their names. Well, this proves that it, it truly is a community event. So, and then the Royal Oak police vehicle, and they got their wave down too. And that's going to do it for us, Judy. All right. So, another wonderfully successful parade. The weather held out outstanding, really. Everybody smiles on all the faces. and. And we, uh, again, want to remember the, the reason for being here. It's a honoring fallen heroes of this country over the years. And uh, not just barbecuing, although we're probably going to do a little of that later, right? Yes. And it's just been uh, a lot of fun and hope we can do it again next Stay year. Stay here. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, Judy. Well, from there, we're going to wrap it up. That was the 2019 Royal Oak Memorial Day Parade. Thank you very much for joining us. And again, we hope to see you next year. We'll sign off from downtown Royal Oak. Thanks for watching.